Will Adobe finally release Photoshop for the iPad this past week? Is it any good? Well, it really depends on what iPad model you have. That's what today's video is all about. I'm gonna show you how Photoshop runs on my first gen iPad Pro 12.9 inch and answer the question, will I be using it from here on out with my design work? So this video isn't an actual review of the features of the app itself or a tutorial on how to use the app. It's just really, how does it run? How does it perform? So if you wanna learn all about that and more, keep watching. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into today's video. As always, if you're new to the channel, I'm using an iPad Pro 12.9 inch first gen model. So yes, this is an older iPad. However, it's kind of the topic of today's video is how does an older iPad handle Adobe's newly released Photoshop? So first thing for transparency sake, I wanna open up settings and show you I'm running the newest iPad OS or iOS 13.2.2, that is up to date. And going over to the App Store, you can see with Photoshop, it shows open. So this is up to date. There's only been one version of this release so far, so no update so far. It is current. And going further down here, you can see uh, it's got a 2.1 out of five stars right now on the App Store. Tons of one-star reviews. People are showing their absolute hate for this app already. And mostly that comes from it being a subscription-based app. So Photoshop is free to download in the App Store. You get a free 30-day trial. But after that, it is $9.99 a month every single month for as long as you want to use the app unless you have the creative cloud suite from adobe which full disclosure i do i subscribe to that monthly just because i use so many of the desktop apps i use premiere to edit all of my youtube videos also use photoshop and illustrator daily so it is kind of a necessity that i like i prefer adobe products i've been using Photoshop on uh, the desktop for over 25 years now. So that's why I go with Adobe, but I will not be going with Adobe Photoshop for the iPad and we'll get into that right now. So also right here, I wanna show you, I do not have any other background apps running. Photoshop is the only app that is running right now. That's it. Nothing else is running in the background. Let's go ahead and open our first canvas. This is a 1000 by 1000 pixel 300 DPI canvas. Uh, as you can see, the zoom feature works really smooth and snappy. Same thing for the UI over here. Everything is really responsive and quick when you touch that. Holding down on the brush here allows you to select different brushes, which I'm going to use the brush pen. This one's a pre-installed brush that comes with Photoshop. And let's just go ahead and draw a quick eye here. So as you can see right off the bat, got a nice taper on the line there. So pressure sensitivity works really, really well. It's pretty responsive. There's not much of a lag that I can see. Uh, what I'm experiencing is kind of what I'm used to with doing digital art on the iPad. Nothing really too crazy. There's a little hiccup there, kind of slowed up lag there. Let's see if it fills in a little bit there. So a couple hiccups along the way, but for the most part, it's kind of what I expect from an art experience on the iPad. Nothing really makes it stand out, uh, you know, from the crowd. But let's compare that 1000 uh, by 1000 canvas with a larger size canvas. This is a 4500 by 5400 canvas set at 300 DPI. I've talked about the size in some of my previous videos and I've had comments in the comment section wondering why would you need to do anything that big? That's overkill. But I do a lot of work with Merch by Amazon and that size is required for their platform. That's kind of the de facto size that you have to go with. Uh, so making this canvas bigger does not affect the zoom feature, does not affect anything over here with the UI either. So let's go ahead and do that same eye drawing over here. I'm gonna make the brush just a little bit bigger than we had it before just because the canvas is larger now. So that brush size needs to be larger as well. And I'm not sure what it's doing right now. It's acting like it wants to go back to the home. So let's go ahead and draw this eye. So as you can see, I just did a line and I'm moving my hands around and talking right now just because I don't want you to think I did any editing or camera tricks with this. I did not pause the video while this loaded. It is actually still rendering that line. I don't know if it's going to actually show up if it took it because this is taking even longer than it usually does. So let's just sit here and ramble and move my hands across the screen so you guys can know that I'm not pulling any editing tricks on you at all to make this video seem more interesting or or seem that Photoshop is more messed up than what it is. And there's the line, it finally rendered. 
So as you can see, that was crazy long and the line's not even as thick as I wanted it to be. So now I've got to go back and now I've got to make this brush bigger. So let's click on that again and let's make the brush bigger. I don't know why that dropped in size. So let's try this again. Maybe this one will load faster. And once again, we're just going to sit here and wait. We're going to see if this actually wants to load because right now it's acting like it didn't do anything, but there we go. So as you can see, this is just absolutely crazy. There we go. That one loaded a little bit faster, but the lag here is just unacceptable. You could not do any work with this. I do not consider this something even remotely possible for professional work. So you can see now it's kind of picking up speed, but it's still, the lag is just crazy. I drew, what, three lines there after that one. Those are still kind of processing. So this is not something that I could use for daily work, and I don't see using, you know, a bigger canvas size would be possible for anyone in this position. Once again, this is a first-gen iPad Pro that I'm talking about, and we'll get to that in a second. So, But to be fair, let's go ahead and go over to Procreate. Once again, I just want to pull this up and show you there's no other apps running in the background. So let's go ahead and close that out, and we'll go into Procreate. All right, so now we're in Procreate, and just like before, full transparency, I wanna pull this canvas information up here and show you 4,500 by 5,400 canvas set at 300 DPI. Once again, absolutely nothing running in the background, just this single app, and let's go ahead and draw that same eye over here. And as you can see, this is just insane how quick and responsive procreate is in comparison to what we just came from as you can see i can do this super fast it keeps up there's absolutely no delay whatsoever even doing fast strokes like this it actually gets every single stroke and i don't have to wait at all so honestly night and day between the two different apps procreate just a beast as far as responsiveness goes and photoshop not so much so let's go ahead and clear this out Okay, so why is that? Why can Procreate effectively handle the exact same canvas size so much more efficiently than what Photoshop can? Well, I'm no software developer, but I can make an educated guess based on a previous video that I did about what iPad you should buy for art. And I talked about how the Procreate developers use the RAM to determine the limitations of the program. So an iPad Pro with four gigs of RAM gives you more layers at the same canvas size than a regular iPad with two to three gigs of RAM. So the RAM's gonna decide on how well the program runs, how much limitations you have, and how many layers are available. On the flip side, what I think Adobe is doing with Photoshop is relying on the chipset inside of the iPad. Since this is an older model, I would not be surprised to learn that the regular iPad 10.5 inch that just came out, which is a base model, might run Photoshop better than this Pro model. However, this Pro model runs Procreate better than that 10.5 inch. So I want to know from you guys guys what ipad do you have what are you seeing with photoshop if you download it i'm not one of those youtubers that has 10,000 ipads laying around and buys a new one every single time it comes out for a review so i'm still stuck with my 12.9 inch first gen model so i want to hear from you guys leave a message down in the comments thanks for watching and as always keep creating